Ow. Shinro Bujira. Well, friends and neighbors, here we are. The end of Rob's Godzilla Room Reviews for the year 2019. This was originally going to be one of two finales that I had planned for this series, but seeing as how this series is going to sleep from the time this video ends to probably around late February, that's what I'm working with so far, I figured we'd end this series off with where it all started, the movies. I thought it'd be fun to just, you know, show off the movies that made me fall in love with Godzilla, being all of them. So let's get started. Up first, the original Japanese classic, Gojira and Godzilla King of the Monsters. When this set was originally first released, I think I might have died a little bit because I had never seen the original Japanese version of Godzilla or Gojira. Because up until then, I think only Godzilla King of the Monsters was released. You take this little slip off and this opens up like a book. You get the original Japanese masterpiece, you get a booklet, and you get King of the Monsters, the American version. And within this book, you get notes, you get pictures. A lot of really great pictures too. This is actually a really nice read. So I definitely suggest uh, giving this a read if you haven't already. Look at that. That's Godzilla, King of the Monsters. This is the original Gojira. <laughs> The chapters alone show just how much of a better movie the original is over King of the Monsters. And despite this being rather devoid of special features, because all you get are the original trailers, the 16-page book, and audio commentaries, I still think this was a very solid release. A very well-respected release as well. Although I heard the Criterion Collection version of this is much better. In time. In time. Up next is the Master Collection version of Godzilla Raids again. I think this is the only version that was released. I, I think they might have released like a normal DVD box version of this, but I don't remember it being released in any other format. These disappeared very, very quickly, like uh, just the way these things were made. These were really, really cool. I remember seeing this for the first time and just being mind blown. I mean, you get the original movie, you get an audio commentary, you get the Art of Suit acting featurette, which is one of my very favorite Godzilla featurettes ever. And I just like the way that, like, the packaging was designed. Yeah, it says right here, original Japanese version 1955 and the English dubbed version 1959. Very cool stuff. Very, very cool stuff. Uh, I don't know how many of the Master Collection DVDs were released like this. I don't think I picked them all up. That might be because I actually had a copy of the DVD already, and at the time I was like, hmm, fuck collecting. But yeah, if I'm missing any of these, please let me know. Specifically Godzilla ones, because I know they released Rodan and more of the Gargantuas together like this. But continuing on... King Kong vs. Godzilla. <laughs> it is so weird looking at this movie and thinking back to my childhood, thinking, wow, this would look so cool if they did it today. And it's finally happening. Yeah, it's a year away, but, well, a little less than a year away, but still. I believe this is the second printing of this DVD. I'm not sure if it was King Kong vs. Godzilla or Godzilla vs. Megalon, but there was essentially a first printing of one of those movies, and one of them had a special feature in there that was illegally put on there, like they didn't have the rights to put it on there, and those versions of the movies became extremely rare. So it's either this or Godzilla vs. Megalon, I'm not sure, but I think this is the second pressing. I think I have the second pressing for both of those movies. So as it turns out, I have the original 2011 release of Godzilla Destroy destroy all monsters with the aforementioned cut content, which is just commentary and an image gallery. The 2014 release has none of that. I don't think the DVD copy with the removed content is as rare as I thought it was. I'll post eBay pictures right now. Oh my god, so expensive. Oh, so inexpensive. But I don't know. I thought that was an interesting little quip to add to this. All right, back to the video. But yeah, nothing too special about the back of this. I'm not really seeing any special features being touted about up here. But yeah, very basic stuff. Very early 2000s. <laughs> up next is the Master Collection version of Mothra vs. Godzilla. Yeah, this is one of like the first DVDs that I bought a double of simply because the packaging was different. Open it up, you get a picture of Godzilla and Mothra over here. Looking at the disc, you get English subtitles, audio commentary, English dub and Japanese versions of the films, slideshow of the original posters, and 
a biography on Akira Ifokube. These Master Collection DVDs truly do have some of the best bonus features ever released on Godzilla anything. So if you find them and they have those bonus features, highly recommend picking them up because I don't think these were ever re-released. I could be wrong. I I've been wrong before on this channel. We all know this. Up next, we have the Master Collection or the Toho Master Collection, as it says at the top, version of Ghidorah, the three-headed monster. You get the original Japanese version and the original dubbed version. Much like the rest, you get a picture of Godzilla and Ghidorah. And on this disc, holy cripe, you get a lot. English subtitles, A.G. Tsuburaya biography, another fantastic bonus feature. Original Japanese trailer, anamorphic widescreen, Japanese version including the runtime, English dub version, including the runtime, audio commentary, and image gallery and slideshow of movie posters. Yet again, I cannot sing my praises loud enough for the Toho Master Collection or the Master Collection. This says Master Collection, that says Toho Master Collection, but then again, Toho's right there, whatever. These DVDs are fantastic, and I hope if they ever get re-released on Blu-ray, Criterion, we get those bonus features again. And look, you can even see Ghidorah's red, white, and blue wings over here. Isn't that nutty? Up next, the Master Collection version of Invasion of the Astro Monster, which yet again includes the Japanese version of the flick and the English dub version. And I'll also let you know that this was also released as Godzilla vs. Monster Zero. Another picture of Ghidorah and Godzilla doing battle, and on the disc, English subtitles, Tamayuki Tanaka biography, image gallery and poster slideshow, Japanese version, English version, audio commentary. Very, very awesome stuff. I really, really hope Criterion Collection gets around to re-releasing these. Please, Criterion. Don't get me wrong, a streaming service is great and everything, but <laughs> come on, <laughs> we want to own these. Ah, my first Godzilla movie ever. Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster. From the prestigious 50th anniversary re-release set. Anybody else remember that commercial popping up on their DVDs and sometimes on TV? Now available on DVD, the original Godzilla series. And coming soon, Godzilla Tokyo SOS. <laughs> Mind blown, just letting you know. When it comes to the bonus feature side of things with this release, uh, it's just the Japanese and English versions of the movie. I don't think there was actually any special features there. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my god, I can't believe this is still in here. Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2, Godzilla vs. Gigan, Godzilla Tokyo SOS, Son of Godzilla, Hedorah. Wow, it's on the back of this. Other great DVDs. Oh my god, I remember this movie. Kana the Prophecy? She always used to freak me out. Yeah, the Monster Wars trilogy of Godzilla 98, Cyborg 009, Tokyo Godfathers. Oh my god. I need to rewatch that movie. That was such a good movie. Seriously, this is one of the best animals anime flicks ever. That's a nice little surprise. I wasn't expecting that to still be in there. Oh, memories. In fact, I think what I was talking about before with Godzilla vs. Kong was actually this movie. In terms of bonus features, you're not going to get too much, you know, just commentary, image gallery. I think it might have actually been this movie that had the cut content in the re-release. But yeah, very basic DVD. Nothing connected to the inside or anything, just, just the disc. Good times with this DVD. Always loved the cover art. Ah yes, all monsters attack. Also released as Godzilla's Revenge. I know this movie gets a lot of hate, but as stated before, there's a special place in my heart for this movie. I can't help it. It's doofy, it's kind of bad, but I, I love it to no end. Get a picture of Godzilla and Minya over there. Gotta look at the disc. And this movie comes with the English subtitles, a biography on Ishiro Honda, which is the main reason why I actually bought this, because I was actually doing a report on Ishiro Honda when this was first released. Image gallery, slideshow, audio commentary, Japanese runtime, English dubbed runtime, you know, the basics. And up next we have Godzilla vs. Hedora, the 50th anniversary edition version. Our environment is doomed! <laughs> doomed. Yet again, not too much going on in the special Features territory, Japanese and English versions of the movie, including subtitles in English and French. Huh, wasn't expecting that. Oh, another one. Other great DVDs. What's it say on the other side? Anything? Oh, yeah. An ad for Godzilla Save the Earth. Yes. <laughs> wow. I'm feeling nostalgic as fuck. But other than that, the only other thing else you get in here is the DVD itself. Up next, we have the 50th anniversary version of Godzilla vs. Gigan. 
This was also one of the first Godzilla movies I ever saw, and boy, was it traumatizing. But yet again, nothing to really talk about in terms of special features, just languages and subtitles. Yeah, the 50th anniversary collection was actually, like, really well covered when it was coming out. And surprisingly, there was a lot of hype surrounding these, but they were very easy to find. Rest in peace, FYE. The FYE that I got all, most of these movies from just recently shut its doors forever. Up next is the DVD version of Godzilla vs. Megalon. And we have a bootleg version that I actually bought off of Amazon. I actually bought a version of Godzilla vs. Biollante that was a lot like this, but it didn't work. But you know, for a fan reproduction, it actually looked pretty good. Of course, no bonus features, but at the time, I took whatever I could get. I mean, the officially released version isn't no different. I mean, it's got better cover art, but you know, no bonus features. Godzilla vs. Megalon has been the most elusive Godzilla film in North America. This is the film that most baby boomers saw in US movie theaters and on TV. Fans had to rely on badly cropped VHS and DVD bootleg copies to enjoy the film thereafter. This entry features Godzilla taking on Megalon and Gigan with the help of the unforgettable growing robot Jet Jaguar. Wow, I never noticed that before. Alright, coming down to the wire. We're taking a look at the first box set. The 50th Anniversary Godzilla DVD Collection, featuring the likes of Godzilla Tokyo SOS, Son of Godzilla, and Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. Two of these movies, uh, surprisingly, have become rather hard to find. So, take a look at the box. Here's what it looks like on the side. On the opposite side, you get read-ups. Godzilla Tokyo SOS is the only one with special features, and that is the Toho produced behind the scenes featurette. And up first is the 50th anniversary version of Son of Godzilla. I actually love this movie a lot. I just choose not to watch it just because it's so hard to find on DVD. Kevin! The last thing I want to do is go about ruining it. So I really don't watch anything from this box set. Here we have Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, the OG. Yet again, this is a DVD that I really don't watch just because I don't want to ruin it. And then we have Godzilla Tokyo SOS. Terror comes in threes with the 50th anniversary edition seal on the top. Oh, wow, yeah. I remember seeing these and fucking losing my mind. I'm like, oh, God, I want these. I can afford these. <laughs> the Godzilla Classic Series from X Plus. Holy shit. And we got more DVDs on the back celebrating 50 years of Godzilla. Oh man, I remember asking for one of these for Christmas. <laughs> oh, good times. Yes, you heard me right earlier. The first box set. You don't see any other box set back there. Well, I gotta save something for later. Okay, we're moving into the Heisei era of things. When I say I ran to my nearest FYE to pick these up the day it came out, I I'm not joking. I ran to FYE to get a DVD copy of Godzilla vs. Biollante. This was the last movie I think that came out that I didn't have, next to Godzilla 1984. But this was the last one I needed in my collection, and I finally got it. And this movie actually has bonus features. The making of Godzilla vs. Biollante, behind the design. But yeah, you got subtitles and everything. This was like the ultimate purchase of the year for me. Godzilla vs. Biollante. And yet again, this is a DVD copy that I don't use. I more so use the Blu-ray version now because both versions are out of print. Because I think this was done by what, Kraken? Miramax? But anyway. Ah, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah and Godzilla and Mothra, The Battle for Earth. This double feature set took me ages to finally get. I had to go all the way to Suncoast at a local mall. A Suncoast that's no longer there. They were the only people that carried this. The day I got these and I brought these home, I think by the time I got home, it was maybe like 10 o'clock and I stayed up so very late and I watched all of Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. Woke up the next day, watched all of Godzilla and Mothra, and then I just kept going after that. Because there was actually, I think it was Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2 and the other double feature set that I I refused to watch until I saw these. So there was three Godzilla movies waiting for me to watch that I just absolutely would not watch until I saw this. The dedication. So we have the double-sided DVD. No, this is not a bootleg. And we have this booklet. Look at this, ready to rumble. It's a monster smash. And you get like read-ups on the movies that are included. Big old picture of Godzilla. And on the back of this booklet, you get all the chapters, the scene selections. Up next is the 50th anniversary version of Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. 
Nothing crazy when it comes to bonus features. Just your basic 50th anniversary stuff. Same set of films on the other side. Yet again, no bonus features. Just the Japanese and English versions of the movie. The double feature of Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla and Godzilla vs. Destroya. One of the reasons why I waited until I got the Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah and Godzilla and Mothra double feature set is because I had actually seen this movie before and I cried my freaking eyes out for multiple reasons. Maybe I'll tell that story one day. Even when I was older, I still wasn't ready to re-experience Godzilla vs. Destroya and I had never seen Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. So I thought, hey, it'd be a good time to have a Godzilla marathon with myself. But unlike the other double feature set, you don't get a booklet. You just get a pamphlet with all the scenes and just a thin piece of paper. Double-sided DVD, yet again, not a bootleg. I promise you. And then we have the deluxe widescreen presentation of Godzilla 1998. Do I have this on Blu-ray? Hold on. I'm looking at my Blu-rays right now. Well, I need to get that 4K version. But yes, we have the infamous Godzilla movie, the first American Godzilla movie. And I, I love this DVD so much because subtitles, theatrical trailers, featurettes, special effects supervisor commentary, director and producer biographies, fuck them, cast filmographies, photo gallery, music video, Godzilla takes New York before and after shots. I always loved the bonus features on this DVD and it did come stacked with them. And I'm very excited to see what that looks like remastered. I mean, Jesus, I think this is the only Godzilla movie that's been re-released more times than people could count. Eh, you get a nice read-up of the film in this little booklet, and you get the scene selections. I really, actually, really do want that 4K steelbook edition of this. I really, really do. The cheapest full series collection set I've ever bought. <laughs> Godzilla the series, the complete animated series with all 40 action-packed episodes. This was an instant purchase mainly because of the two unaired episodes and you know i just always wanted the complete series of this and uh what is it yeah four discs are all piled into one over here oh from mill creek direct i think they're the ones that are doing the steelbook mothra i think video on that coming soon yeah it tells you all the episodes at the bottom of the disc i'm not going to take them all out but this was really really cool and i hope we'll see a blu-ray collection of this come up eventually now we have godzilla 2000 Yet again, another great DVD with a lot of awesome bonus features. Behind the scenes footage, theatrical trailers, talent files, interactive animated menus, production notes, scene selections. Whenever I saw behind the scenes on a DVD, I picked it up instantly. When it came to Godzilla, there was no freaking question. And then we have Godzilla vs. Mechagurus. I don't hate it. Uh, it gets a lot of unnecessary hate. I know that uh, the whole string debacle and some of the special effects on Mechagurus especially really weren't up to code, but this is still one of my favorite Millennium series movies. It's a classic Godzilla monster battle action romp. No crazy bonus features though. I mean, you get a slip of paper with the chapter selections and you know, hey, buy these DVDs too. Oh man, we're really coming down to the wire, aren't we? Here we have my favorite Millennium Series Godzilla flick and my personal, this is the best out of the Millennium Series flick, Godzilla, Mothra, and King Ghidorah, giant monsters all out of deck. Believe me, when trying to find this in FYE, everybody was looking at me like, what? <laughs> but this was one of the DVDs that got played a lot. Just because I love the design of Godzilla. I love that Ghidorah was a good guy. I love the redesign of Mothra. I didn't even know who Baragon was at the time. I was in love with this gal right here. Oh, still am. Yet again, no special features. But Shiharu Niyama. Oh, beautiful to this day. Rar. Up next, we have Godzilla against Mechagodzilla. A movie that I actually wasn't interested in when it was first released. I mean, I picked it up the day it came out, I believe. And uh, it took me a while to finally sit down and watch it. I think it was because I was honestly just sick of Mechagodzilla at that point, but I did love the design. Yet again, no major bonus features on the inside. You just get the DVD and this little slip of paper. It's like, hey, buy these. Cool little picture of Mechagodzilla 3 or Kiryu. And then we have Godzilla Final Wars. I believe this was the last 50th anniversary Godzilla movie that was released. And Geyser Ghidorah is right on the friggin' cover, so it's like, huh, no surprise there. And... Watching this for the first time, I'm like, wow, they really tried to go all out. <laughs> all out with this movie. And they did. They honestly did. Plus, the Godzilla B-roll to film featurette. Another great featurette in Godzilla history. <sighs> oh, yeah. Who remembers these? The PSP UMD videos. <laughs> the things that were going to kill DVDs. 
<laughs> right. I think I actually had the Godzilla 1998 UMD. And I think, yeah, this came out too on UMD. Man, get more of those. Man, the PSP was such a freaking weird little system. And that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the DVDs, friends and neighbors. Now, let's get into the Blu-rays. Fortunately for all of you, we've discussed most of these so far. We have the original Japanese version of Godzilla, Gojira. Yeah, there's that. We have Godzilla vs. King, King Kong vs. Godzilla. They're essentially the same releases as the DVDs. Just, I think some of them came with bonus, more bonus features. Some of them did not. It's just the updated picture. Godzilla on Monster Island. Godzilla vs. Gigan. Yeah. Most of these Blu-rays, I think they were released at the same time as the DVDs. So you can get whichever one you wanted or you can get both. Most of the time, I just got both. Although as we get further down the list, some of these I only purchased on Blu-ray. Like, uh, here's Godzilla vs. Hedorah again. And uh, I only got the Blu-ray of Godzilla 1984. Lost for a generation. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Godzilla vs. Biollante, the Toho Godzilla collection, double feature stuff. The only thing to really report on with these is that they had the flippable, reversible covers. So you can have the actual posters for the covers. I would do that, but they don't have the names on the side. And even though I have these in order, I do consider that a bit of a pain in the butt. <laughs> Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2, Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. I really wish that most of these were released in order. Not a lot of these were released you know, in order. Some of them are Heisei flicks with Millennium flicks. I kind of do just wish that uh, they were released within their own eras, but beggar can't be chooser. See, like this, Godzilla vs. Destroyer with Godzilla vs. Mechagears. It's like, come on. Hey, past me. You do realize that Godzilla vs. Destroya and Godzilla vs. Mechagirus were paired together because they decided to release Godzilla 2000 on its own Blu-ray because it featured the Japanese version. Stop complaining about things, dumbass. <laughs> Most of the special features on these were just trailers. See, this is okay. These were one after another, so didn't mind too much with those. This was probably the most important re-release uh, when it came to the Blu-ray re-releases, just because I think this was the first time that the Japanese version of Godzilla 2000 was ever released outside of Japan. I always thought that was really, really cool. I didn't mind the lack there of special features simply because I get to see the Japanese version finally. Godzilla Tokyo SOS, Godzilla Final Wars. They attained the same special features, although I don't think the DVD had the making of Tokyo SOS feature. I could be wrong though. I think I am wrong. And then we come to Godzilla 2014 on Blu-ray that had the roaring feature, but the batteries on this thing finally died. But yeah, you got the you got the Blu-ray and you got the DVD, all the same bonus features. And on the back, you just get Monarch Surveillance Archives. Funny. It's funny, this movie's been re-released so many times and I only have one version of it. I need to see if I can get another version of this where the roar still works, see if I can preserve that somehow. And then finally, Shin Godzilla. Oh, the masterpiece itself black blu-ray case blu-ray and dvd and something that i never knew until recently was that this was reversible so i've had it like this the entire time <laughs> so what i'm gonna do right now oh that looks so cool <laughs> yeah. might have to put this movie over to the side i think i'm gonna watch shin godzilla today <laughs> now i still have a couple more things to talk about i promise you it's almost over <laughs> since we were talking about shin godzilla i guess i might as well show off the japanese special edition i think this was of the shin godzilla movie <sighs> at the time this is all we had shin godzilla no subtitles really like this it's embossed it's like a raised wording right there it's Oh, just such a very beautiful collection. I believe this was the movie. This was Bonus Features Part 1 and Bonus Features Part 2. I kept the little DVD slip. It kept falling off, so I just kept it in the box. In here, this is like a booklet talking about everything that's within it. You know, pictures and all that. I don't want to unfold it. I'm sorry. Other random little inserts. Yeah, the re-release of all the Godzilla movies on DVD in Japan only. Pricing and all that. 
cute stuff. And my copy actually came with that voucher for uh, the Golden Shin Godzilla, Kamada-kun, and Shinagawa-kun, and I was considering sending this to Tom, but by the time I think I finally got this, uh, I think the promotion was over. So it was kind of SOL. <laughs> yeah, I was really hoping the bonus features would have been localized and brought to the American version of Shin Godzilla when it came to Blu-ray, but it did not, and that's not such a bad thing. And then... We have the soundtrack. This was actually like one of the first videos, one of the very first few videos I did for the channel. You get the disc, uh, a lot of Japanese discs, they come with these when they're packaged and uh, it's just like, you know, little packaging thing. Um, I'm not gonna take the booklet out because the booklet was a pain to get out all the time. So I'm just going to keep that in there. Then we have the 2014 soundtrack by Alexander Desplat. Really cool disc. I always loved that design right there. Nothing super special about this. Now, speaking of super special, I don't think I've actually shown this off on the channel before, except for like the collection videos that I've done, but this is, oh my God, the vinyl repressing of the original Godzilla 1954 soundtrack. Why it has Heisei Godzilla on the front? I, I don't know, don't ask me. Yeah, this was pressed by Death Waltz Recording Company and uh, they got a, like a couple other releases printed on there. And okay. the vinyl comes with this lovely art print of the cover art. I need to uh, measure in frame because I do not want to put tape or thumbtack holes in this. Very, very nice little inclusion. And the vinyl came pressed on a gray vinyl, a smoky gray vinyl, I believe. Yeah, that's not something I really like taking out too much. <laughs> and no, we are not done yet. I still have to show off the Coupe de Gras, the long retired and out of print ultimate Godzilla DVD collection featuring Godzilla King of the Monsters, Godzilla vs. Mothra, Godzilla's Revenge, Terror of Mecha Godzilla, and as a special bonus, you also got Rodan. This collection has been through hell. And even though I treated it like a goddess, when finally getting it out of the plastic, it was still pretty dinged up. Here is a little spin around on the box. And I really like this kind of vapor wavy image on the front. And yeah, this box has seen better days. So these are all the DVD cover designs. Always really liked the cover designs and the back of the cover designs. These things weren't so much stacked on bonus features, but this was like the ultimate box set because you knocked so many movies out of the park just by buying this. Yeah, to my knowledge, uh, the box set was only released once, but I know that most of these movies were re-released again, either by themselves or a part of a special double feature set. This was really cool for me because I finally got to see Rodan. It was cool seeing Godzilla vs. Mothra for the first time when I picked this up. This is, in fact, the set that introduced me to Godzilla's Revenge. <laughs> this is where the soft spot for the movie came from. This exact set right here. And finally, the legendary terror of Mechagodzilla. Never did I ever think that any of these movies would be become so hard to find. Ugh. Yeah, this was one heck of a video, huh? <laughs> Probably got wrapped up in all the memories just looking at these things again. But this is it, everybody. Rob's Godzilla Room Reviews has come to an end. For this year, at least. Remember, I'm coming back in 2020 with more. I can't believe it's been nearly a year. Nearly a year since I started Rob's Godzilla Room Reviews. I believe it was the beginning or the middle of October of last year. I just want to say thank you to you all who have come to this channel because of this series. I want to say thank you to you all for, you know, sticking around. Uh, I know that my original plans were to do the entirety of this collection all in one year, but I honestly, I just really need a break. I want to work on other things and I hope in this series downtime, you'll all stick around and, you know, maybe check out my other content. I'm really, really going to work very, very hard on the new stuff. And when Rob's Godzilla reviews comes back in 2020 around february or march or whatever i promise i'm gonna put that same energy into this series yet again there's i think a good 30 more episodes for me to do so again i hope you'll stick around for that i hope you'll stick around for the new content that i'm going to be making not all of it is going to be godzilla related don't get me wrong i'm still going to be covering all the new godzilla figures from NECA and bandai maybe even x plus wink wink nudge nudge it's just godzilla content won't be released weekly i'll put up an update video sometime time after this video goes up and i've been shin rob jira thank you all so 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 very much 
for making Rob's Godzilla Room reviews such a success in my eyes. Just to see that it was so positively received for the most part. I mean, yeah, there was a couple episodes I funked up there, but thank you. Thank you all so much. Happy to have you as part of this channel. And yet again, I hope you stick around for more. So until next time, everybody, may Screonk be with you all. I hope you enjoyed. Sayonara. So it is 12 a.m., 12.02 a.m. on Monday. It is officially the 1st of July. I just finished editing this video, and I'm sorry I'm going to stretch it out a little longer. Um, I was going through this video, and I don't know if any of you could honestly tell, but I really was exhausted while making this video. Not physically, I think just emotionally, but I, I was still in a good mood and rather nostalgic and it's not because I've gotten tired of Godzilla it's just this consistent you know the way my mind works need to have a video up on Monday need to have a video up on Friday need to have a video up on Wednesday I know that wasn't in order but it's 1203 give me a break <laughs> uh, I, I honestly needed a break from it I really need to get back on a schedule where I can work on a video and I don't feel like I need to have it out at a specific time. Like I said in the hiatus video, there's really nobody to blame but myself for this whole predicament. So I apologize and I thank you for sticking around and I hope you'll stick around for the new content that I've been lightly working on since the beginning of the Bandai arc. I'm really, really proud of it. I hope since it's not all 100% Godzilla related that you'll stick around and enjoy it with me. But yeah, one more time, just for the sake of it, I have been Shin Rob Jira. Thank you for making the first portion of Rob's Godzilla Room Reviews fun, worth all of the mental torment that I put myself through, and you lot are great. If I pi Whether I pissed you off in a video or not, whether I didn't impress you with a video or not, it was a learning experience for me. And I'm probably never going to do something like this again. <laughs> Multiple weekly uploads? Nah, fam. That's Dunyan Rings. But yeah, here's the outro. Shin Rob Jira out. Love ya. May Skriank be with you all. Bye. <laughs>